Hey guys, so the worst has happened and your SD card in your Raspberry Pi has failed. If you've been taking frequent backups, this isn't such a big deal because we're going to be able to restore from one of those backups. But if you haven't, then we're going to have to flash a brand new copy of Raspbian OS onto an SD card. Either way, the process is pretty much the same. So sit back, grab your new SD card and let's get to it. After we plugged in our SD card, we're going to go ahead and launch the Raspberry Pi Imager. This tool was created by the Raspbian Foundation to really simplify the process of getting up and running with the Raspberry Pi, and it's really excellent at its job. I'm going to include a link to the tool in the video description down below. When I hit Choose OS, I get prompted with a number of different options. The really great thing about this tool is it allows you to select which image that you'd like to install onto the Raspberry Pi, and then it goes and fetches the latest version of that image for you, and then helps you to burn it onto the SD card, which is really excellent. There's no fiddling about with trying to download images from the site and using a third-party uh, tool to burn it onto an SD card. Now, I already have an image that I'd like to use. It's one of my backup images. So I'm just going to go ahead and select Use Custom here. I then get prompted with a new dialog box asking me where that image is located on my computer. One of my main criticisms of this tool is that it forces you to choose an image on the local machine that the software is running on and refuses to let you choose an image that's on a network location, which is where I store most of my backups. Now I think this might be on purpose because most home users will still have one gigabit networking in their homes, and that's a pretty significant bottleneck when you're trying to read an image and write it to the SD card in comparison to the theoretical six gigabits per second limit that you could get on your local storage. But still, I'd like the option to be able to choose a network location. It's not a big deal though, I can just go ahead and put that on the desktop of the computer that I'm running the software on, and then go ahead and select it and click open. Now, I'm about to show you one of the greatest features that this tool has, especially if you're writing a new image onto the SD card, but for some reason, the Raspbian Foundation has decided to hide it. So what you're going to want to do here is hit Control shift x Once you do, you'll have access to the Advanced Options dialog box, which allows you to set some pretty powerful features, especially if you're doing a fresh install. You can do things like set the hostname, enable SSH and set a password, configure your Wi-Fi in advance, configure some locale settings, etc, etc. Honestly, I have no idea why this is so hidden in the imager settings, but um, Control shift x that's how you get here. Now, I don't need any of these settings because I'm restoring from a backup, so I'm just going to disable all of this. The next thing that we're going to do is choose our storage location, which is our SD card. The imager will prevent you from choosing any of your local drives, like the C drive or the D drive, just to prevent you from overwriting it, but it will allow you to choose any removable storage. So make sure that you've only got the SD card that you want to write to plugged into your machine. So once I go ahead and choose my SD card, I can choose the write option on the right hand side to begin the write process. <laughs> so I get prompted with a little warning that says that it's going to erase all of the information on the SD card, and I'm fine with that, so I'm going to select the yes option. And then it's going to begin the writing process. Through the power of editing, we can go ahead and skip straight to when the write was successful and the process is complete. Now, you can go ahead and hit the continue option here, but Windows will also have prompted you with a dialog box saying that you need to format the removable drive before you can use it. Make sure you go ahead and hit cancel there. Don't format the drive again, otherwise all of your work will be like wasted. So the final thing to do is get your SD card and your Raspberry Pi, put the SD card in, and go ahead and plug it in. That's it, guys. Catch you on the flip side.